is all new coming up next. Good afternoon, everybody. We'd like to welcome you to Rockhound Baseball, the voice of West Texas. It is the final game of our four game set. It's the visiting Amarillo Sod Poodles and your Midland Rockhounds. <clears throat> Tomorrow, the visiting Arkansas Travelers arrive to town. They take on a four game set. Saturday, the Midland Rockhounds begin their eight game road series they take on the Amarillo Sod Poodles in Amarillo, Texas. <clears throat> Wednesday, April 10th, the Rockhounds and the Arkansas Travelers start a four game set in beautiful Arkansas. Sunday, April 14th, the visiting Tulsa Drillers arrive to town. They take on a four-game series. Day April 18th is the start of the four-game series with the visiting Northwest Arkansas Naturals. <clears throat> Go online now and purchase and print your tickets from home. Also, you can follow the Rockhounds and the Sod Poodles all season long with the first pitch app. You can download that on any smartphone. <coughs> we got to check our weather before we begin our starting lineups. <coughs> Here in beautiful Midland, Texas. Four o'clock. And waiting for the results hey, of the uh, weather. Midland, sunny skies. And a good, comfortable 62 degrees. Fans, get out your line scorecards, and here is the starting lineup. <clears throat> First for the visiting Amarillo Sod Puddles. Leading off the shortstop, Benjamin Santiago. <clears throat> Batting second, the center fielder, Herschel Ivy. Batting third, the first baseman, Todd Smart. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, Howard Manning. <clears throat> Batting fifth, the right fielder, Omar Baroa. Batting sixth, the third baseman, Alexi Cabral. <clears throat> Batting seventh, the catcher, Richie Patterson. Batting 8th, the left fielder, Felipe Delgadio. Batting ninth, the second baseman, Derek Sellers. And taking the mound for Amarillo, Gary Samuel. <clears throat> and now here's the starting lineup for your Midland Rockhounds. Leading off for Midland, number 55, center fielder Richard Hester. <coughs> Batting second, the shortstop, number 56, Alfonso Velasquez. Batting third, the third baseman, number 59, Joseph Cheney. Batting fourth, the second baseman, Number 61, Corban Joseph. Batting fifth, the first baseman, number 48, Howard Farrell. Batting sixth, the left fielder, number 49, Ken Aoki. 
Batting seventh, the designated hitter, Steve Meyer. Batting eighth, the catcher, number 54, Brock Jackson. Batting ninth, the right fielder, number 50, Marcus Herrera. And taking the mound for your Midland Rock Hounds, number 18, Daniel Gossett. <clears throat> Fans, let's go over ground rules before this afternoon's game. Always remember to stay off the cell phones while the batter is in the batter's box. Remain off the field. Failure to remain off the field is immediate ejection from the ball game. <clears throat> if you see anything suspicious, report it to local security. If you see something, say something. <clears throat> and let's get started with today's game. The final game with the four game series. Amarillo Stod Poodles and the Midland Rockhounds. Welcome into this presentation of Minor Hang League on. Baseball from the AA Texas League. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Amarillo Sod Poodles and the Midland Rockhounds. It's baseball on the show. And it's coming up next. <coughs> Daniel Gossett, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Well, Matt, you hate to go into game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen involved, but you may have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep in the games. Very rarely does he go six innings or more. So this very well could be one of those Johnny Holstaff days. Leading off now the ball the box, game this afternoon. Benjamin Santiago. And we are ready for some Number daytime 28. baseball. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. <coughs> First pitch, four o'clock. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastball. Hitter was able to keep the his hands fielder. through, deliver a nice First line goal. drive. Ivy. Standing in now, Herschel Ivy, as he oh, takes okay. a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh. The one oh misses oh, for okay. the second ball. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting. I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. The 2 0 on the way. It is taken strike one. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Santiago aboard here at first with nobody out. Pitch is popped up. Farrell on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting third. Hey, two runners on the after back-to-back -to -back singles right ah. there. They are in prime position Smart. to put the first run on the board right here. <clears throat> Into the box now. Todd Smart as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. First and second here with nobody out. Oh, 
A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Mark DeRosa, cool. what's your take on him this afternoon on the road? Well, Matt, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. Coming to the plate now, Howard Manning, and he could give his guys an <laughs> early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, that's and that misses inside 1 0. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. First and second now, one man out. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking. Strike three. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not that out of it, it yet. We'll see if he the can right feed field. off that K. Oh, wiggle on the jam and keep Fair this game tied. Uh, At the plate, Omar Moroa, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, it's looking like he may be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. Ready on 0-2. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Here's the 0-2. Popped up. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So they get to him for a couple of hits in the inning here, but they've got nothing to show for it. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Gary Samuel, a right-hander from the Keystone State, gets the ball as the starter in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out, and anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Striding into the box, Richard Hester. For the rock down. He'll lead things off the here in the bottom fielder. half of the first. Richard Here Hester. comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Delgadio going back on it. Gone! So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or runner two early in the game, and he does just that. Blasting a no doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the game. second. Into the That's box, Alfonso Velasquez. He grounds it shortly to third. Cabral 
Edwards right there. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. For the moment third. now, let's have a look at the, the home team baseman. starting lineup. Joseph. Mark, daytime baseball Dingy. at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Taking a look at this lineup, they're going to have to work the count. That's the key to success right here. They have to find a way to drive this guy's pitch count up and get into that bullpen as quick as possible. Digging in, Joseph Cheney, one run in and one gone so far this inning. First pitch on its way. Hit softly on the ground to first. Smart moving to his right, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Batting fourth, the second baseman, Corbett Joseph. So striding forward now, Corbin Joseph looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Turned on down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and it Here's looks up. like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. Two out, nobody on. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away, and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Hit out towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Leading off the inning, Alexi Cabral. Leading off. And they'll need him the to get something base. going here. Alexi Cabral. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hey. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. That's the ball. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. To short, hit hard. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery's a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Time for a look at the defensive the alignment for the home team. Ricky. And one of the main Seven. backbones for them out on the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls the entire flow of the game, manipulates a pitching staff, gets them through the game, and not only that, completely shuts down a running game. Stepping up to the plate, Richie Patterson. He'll swing it from the left side right here. First offering on its way. 0-1 the count. One out, nobody on. Ah. Fastball called for strike two. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Ball one taken just off the inside. The 1 2. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting it. The left fielder, Felipe Delgadio. Stepping in, Felipe Delgadio. He'll get to take his first cuts here. <clears throat> Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
No balls and a strike to count. And it's one and one. Patterson, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. To one and two now. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, that and that's just what they did the right there. Baseman. Big strikeout, Derek. keep that guy off the base Stellar. path. <laughs> Stepping in now, Derek Sellers, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Ball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Patterson rounds third and is digging for the plate. He will score. We're all square at one apiece. Wow, you got to love this aggressive swing here. Now Gets batting. the barrel of the bat Numbers out in front of the ball and just rips it down the left field line. Absolutely no play on that ball the second it left the bat. Nice job picking up the runner. Standing in now, Benjamin Santiago. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. That's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw home. And the runner will score from second as they take a 2-1 to one lead. Boy, the that has to feel good four. as a hitter, d -Row. You get that first base goal. hit to give your team Ivy. the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Herschel Ivy, nope. as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball, ball one. one. Right. Trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Now ball and two strikes now. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Sod Poodles lead it two to one. Coming to the plate now, Howard Leading Farrell. Leading off for the Rockdown. Five, six, and the seven here baseman. to start the home half Howard of the second. Farrell. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And he's going to go away, and that's the first out. Time for a look that at the exists. defensive alignment for the visitors. The left fielder. And Manning second yeah. base today is a guy hey. with one of the quickest hands in the game. That's the name of the game over at second base. It's not about range. It's not about arm strength. It's about turning every double play for your pitching staff, making the routine play, and making sure every two is turned. So digging in now, Ken Aoki. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at-bat. 
Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout, and there are two away. Really good late seven. bite on that slider that right there. Hitter. The best ones have that Jeez. late action that just darts Fire. at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Steve Meyer. A swing and a ground ball to third. Well, this is foul for the first strike. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Hit on the ground out to short. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. Amarillo out in front, two to one. Stepping into the box, Todd Smart. He'll step in to lead it off the in the top baseman. of the third. Todd Smart. First pitch of the at-bat. Line drive to center field. Hester patrolling center makes the play one out. Now Jumped that all over that first hitter. pitch of the inning, Power. and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't Manning. able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Into the box, Howard Manning. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hester is there now, and he has it, two gone. <clears throat> the right fielder, number 34. Omar Barroa. Digging in, Omar Barroa. First pitch on its way. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Pretty much an obligatory take that time. Yeah, when the first two guys in the inning make first pitch outs, you really don't have much choice. The windup and the 0-1. Now that's popped up. Farrell is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Sod Poodles lead it two to one. Leading off the inning, Brock Leading Jackson off, has to look to get something going catcher. here and even this number game up. 31. First offering on its way. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Delgadio going back to the track to the wall. Gone! A solo shot here to left as we are all knotted up at two. After this pitcher sat down six of his teammates in a row, he was looking to break through against him with anything. Well, the home run will definitely suffice. Great job of breaking the string and getting his team going right there. Batting nut. Standing in now. The right fielder. Marcos Herrera. Marco. As he'll go after Herrera. the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one.
into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Line towards center field. And here's a dive by the center fielder, but it's off his glove. Now batting, center fielder, Richard Hester. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Richard Hester. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put bat to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. This is a tough spot here to turn two off this guy at the plate. One of the things you really have to make sure defensively to make sure you get at least one out. Don't try to turn that double play. If you get the sure out at second, take that. And if you get it at first, well, that's just an added bonus. But make sure you at least get one out in a spot like this. And this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base now hit. So now time that's will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll oh, hope to settle good. this guy down. Settling in now, Alfonso Velasquez, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. In the air to straightaway right. Moroa sprinting after it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Third base read there number at second double base zero. He could make it to third Joseph on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. So stepping in, Joseph Cheney, and he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A bouncer up the middle. Dive, but it's off his glove, and the run should score. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's 3-2. to two. Now batting. The second baseman, Corbett. Joseph. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Corbin Joseph. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Finally, a take. <laughs> no, seriously, that's the first pitch they've taken the entire game. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation, so making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. The 1-1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Right side. He's got it. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The first baseman, Good number right nine, the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch Farrell. him up, and an easy ground ball as a result. Stepping in now, Howard Farrell, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. He sent the 0 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And the second run will score as well. And he is in the second base with a two-run double. They say when it rains, it now pours, and it's Let's pouring it. out there right now. Yeah. Drives in two hey, more okay. with that shot, making it four runs in the inning. This inning is starting to get away from him. In now, Ken Aoki pulls this one in the air out to left. Delgadio is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. The Rockhounds lead it five to two.
Stepping into the box, Leading Alexi off. Cabral. The third base he got on top of one and Alexi. was a ground out victim Cabral. last time. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Holds this one in the air out to left. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now batting, catcher, Richie Patterson. Now to the plate, Richie Patterson. He reached on a single in his first try. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted into center field. Moving under it, Hester. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, left fielder, Felipe Delgadio. Ready now, Felipe Delgadio. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah, and that one swung on and missed 0 1. Fourth inning here, already a 5 to 2 score. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Fouled away. The next 0-2. Line right field. East is securing Steve. the win. They want to keep the Meyer. pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First offering on its way. On the line, that's a base hit. Hey, they've obviously locked in on something here. They know now this pitcher better. likes to get ahead, Number 31. and they've done nothing but be aggressive early in the count. There's another leadoff single to get him going. Into the box now, Brock Jackson. He swings and grounds it to short. One there, on to first, and they get the double play, but boy, was he ever upended at second base. The right fielder, number 19, Marco. Boy, and that's a great Herrera. play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you can definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. Standing in now, Marcos Herrera. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for one after a single this first time up. Now the pitch. Goodness. 0 oh and 2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So a good job for him there to bounce back after giving up four last time around. We played four full. The Rockhounds are out in front, five to two. Leading off the inning, Derek off. Sellers, and the they'll need basement. him to get something going Derek here. Sellers.
first pitch of the at bat. Ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Shallow right. Herrera moves over, looks it into his glove, and there's one guy. Now gone. batting. Number 28. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Benjamin Santiago. He singled his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Hit hard to short. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. The center fielder, number four, Herschel Ivy. Digging in once again, Herschel Ivy. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. We're in the fifth inning here. 5 2 is our score. Dear Swing round. and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. 1 and 1. That's no ball. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boo! This is flared out towards second. And this will be put away easily for the out. Richard Hester ready for the for two. We'll look to add on right the here. center fielder Richard Hester first pitch on its way that's yanked into the stand strike one And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's now one gone. Pretty Good textbook job. pitching right oh, there. Jump up. ahead and account 0 2 oh, and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Into the box, Alfonso Velasquez. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to left as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, D-Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend now continues. Now batting, third baseman, Joseph Cheney. Joseph 
Jamie. As he rounds one briskly to short. Santiago is up with it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Now yeah, that's just no excuse the for a middle play. infielder to make Gorbat. a play like that. Especially Yelta. your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Ladies William Cutler enters attention, to make please. an appearance on the mound now as he inherits a runner at first William with one out in the inning. Cutler. Stepping in now, Corbin Joseph. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Cheney, base runner at first with one out. at a ball one and two tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there but he wasn't biting very well could see it again here though the one two misses nope. ball two Two two. Here's at the knees and called strike three. The first baseman number nine, Howard. Digging in the Farrell. switch hitter, Howard Farrell. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch on its way. Fastball in there for a called strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Two out with the man at first. This one is launched. Look at this. And it's gone! That's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the bump, giving up a long home run or giving up a bomb at any time as a pitcher. You just have to regroup and get back on that horse. Now batting, the left fielder, Ken. Standing in hey, now, okay. Ken. Aoki as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. No hits to this point. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batting, the designated hitter, Steve Meyer. Next will be the designated hitter, Steve Meyer. Now we'll snap one off no, over to the bag, that. and the runner back easily. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. 
You can tell he's starting to get frustrated out there. He's not usually used to getting knocked around the yard a little bit. And you can tell he's starting to feel for it. Three runs already home here. A ball and a strike. Great off-speed pitch right there. He was definitely sitting fastball, wanted to turn and burn. Everything went flying. This pitcher no, might be that. on the attack with that pitch all game long. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you no, can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a foot outside. Ready with the one and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Delgadio on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Five innings complete. The Rockhounds lead it 8-2. to two. Stepping up now, Todd Smart. 0 go. for 2 here the to start baseman. the afternoon. Todd. This one doesn't look good so Smart. far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the 8th and ninth inning. Fly ball heading for the alley. And this is going to be extra bases here leading off the 6th. And he'll pull into 2nd here with nobody out. That was a pretty good fastball, and it Designated. almost got by him. But he's Power. able to slap it in the gap in the right Manning. center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Into the box now, Howard Manning, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. The 0-2 pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty the big right hitting D row. Lead off double, now a base oh, hit, and all of a sudden we're looking Zero. at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up, you just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. Into the box, Omar Maroa, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. From the stretch, ball off one. the plate, one ball, one strike. One one seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball one and two now. Runners are at first and third with none out. center field Hester giving chase he gets there and makes the play for the first down and he might have thought about it at third but with one away decides not to risk it now batting the third baseman Alexi Cabral 
Striding in, Alexi Cabral. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Has a look, now the pitch. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. That makes it an eight to three ball game. Great work to do now a batter. job right there. The He's not a big power Ricky. bat, so he was looking to batter get a fly said. ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. Now at the plate, Richie Patterson. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. This is line to left. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Manning isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He'll score easily. And the deficit is cut to four now. He was not messing around now in that at-bat. Looking field. for a first pitch Billy fastball Bay. all the way. And Bill that's Gaudio. exactly what he got. Nice job to rip it down the line and drive in a run at the same time. He'll feel good about that one. Stepping in now, Felipe Delgadio, and he fouls this one off. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Swing and a liner. Foul. an end of the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Rockhounds are out in front, eight to four. So striding in, for the Jackson. He'll lead it off the as catcher. we start the home six. Number 31. ready here's the first offering there's the big breaking ball and it's by him for a strike The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and in unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And another foul ball. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. The right you fielder, can spot number your pitches 19. there in advantage Marco. counts like one and two, oh, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. He 
in now, Marcos Herrera, as he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Now batting, center fielder, Richard Ready for another Hester. chance, Richard Hester. Now he'll step off the rubber and go to first, but the runner's back easily. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Herrera stands at first with one out. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Herrera blows through the stop sign, headed for home. He's in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Now batting with two outs, stop. I totally oh, understand oh, sending him there, but oh, with only dead. one out, you've got to be pretty positive about getting him home safely. Could have been a whole lot better than what they're working with now. Standing in now, Alfonso Velasquez. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, his second of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Baseman number double zero into the box. Joseph, Joseph Cheney, Cheney. As he hits one on a line to left field, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's gonna have to mix it up now a little bat, bit more because they are baseman, on his stuff. Corbett Joseph. Into the box now, Corbin Joseph, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0 is a fastball that misses. Well, you have to have a lot of confidence and composure to pitch effectively, and right now, I'm just not seeing it. He looks kind of rattled out there to me. Straight up, Sellers ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. The nine one and two hitters do up to start the seventh, and this is now a 10-4 ball game. Welcome back to Baseball on the Show. Seventh inning straight ahead, but first let's take a look at the game summary for the first six innings of baseball. Now at the plate, Derek Sellers. Leading one off. for two with a double on his baseman. line thus far. Derek. It doesn't look very Sellers. promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Sellers. 
Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. The work a total of six innings here. Not his greatest work, but he is in line for the W. Your Oliver attention, please. Wallace comes on Alfred now, and he'll take over Rockout. with nobody out in inning number, number seven. Oliver Wallace. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. The next 0 2. Count remains at 0 and 2. in the air down the right field line. Herrera is after it. He's there and records the first out. Now batting. Number 28. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Benjamin Santiago. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 92 splits the plate and it's strike one. Popped him up. And there's out number two. The center fielder, number four. Herschel Ivy into the box now Herschel Ivy pitch on the way line towards center field and a knock for him this time he's two for four for the game. So now with two away, the middle of the order gets to bat with opportunities on base. Now batting, the first baseman, Todd 
Smart. Into the box now. Todd Smart. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Ivy is off of first with two away. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Oh, and two, here it comes. Another one sent foul. Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. Here's another 0-2, and it's fouled away. A runner on first with two away. Easy oh, take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Cheney is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Your Rod attention, please. Delaney comes on to now pitch pitching. now, hoping for better results Rod than the other arms Delaney. that they've run out there in this one. Howard Farrell will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit the from first the left baseman. side now. Yeah, now this we're last at bat, he hit a change out for a home run, so it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning. Now batting. Damn, with that the single, left he's now three quarters Ten. of the way to hitting for hey, the okay. cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that you said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more bat in this one. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The bat. Boy, D. Rowe, when you're the starting to swing hitter. it like this team is, doesn't D. matter. They bring in a new relief Meyer. pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. Now bad. And time now to Number see 31. quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here, at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Ready for another shot now, Brock Jackson. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit... Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And the second run will score as well. 
I thought this was getting ugly when they scored now a couple batting. digits right in runs, fielder. but they tack on a couple more here to Herrera. make it an even dozen. You're going to win about 99% of the games when you score 12 runs. Simple as that. So coming to the plate, Marcos Herrera. From the belt, the pitch. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. The three of us are back with more following this. So here's the cleanup hitter, Howard Leading Manning. Off. He'll try and do what he can hitter. to work toward cutting Howard. into this big deficit. Manning. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And gone. An absolute bomb. So a solo shot down the line in left, but they still face a seven-run deficit. Well, they're not there yet, but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here. Just need to string some good at-bats together now. The right fielder, number 30. Stepping in now, Omar Barroa. Barroa. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And this one is gone, a home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center, and this lead has been cut to just six now. Now batting. Third base. Standing in now, Alexi, Alexi Cabral. Cabral. As he yeah, looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. The one two. Is swung on and missed strike three. That swing tells me he was really trying now to batting. get a pitch out Catcher. front and rip it down the line, Richie. but that wasn't a great Patterson. pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. In now, Richie Patterson. As the first nope. pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Smoked on the ground, left side. And just past his outstretched glove in the left, a base hit. Now batting, left fielder, Felipe Delgadio. At the plate, Felipe Delgadio. Set. Here it comes. 
In there, strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the gloves down the line. And he is in there. Now batting, second baseman, Derek Sellers. Standing in, Derek Sellers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the hide. And that one is gone. A three run shot down the line in left. And just like that, it's down to a three run ball game. Now batting, number 28. Into the box now, Benjamin Santiago. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The center fielder, number four. First goal, Ivy. Ready once again, Herschel Ivy. He's two for four in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Roll, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So the deficit has been cut here as five runs have made this a ball game again. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Rock Hounds lead it 12 to 9. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Leading Richard off for Hester. the Rock And he's got a shot at the history fielder. here, but he'll need a Richard. triple to complete the cycle. Hester. Here's the pitch. Right. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Ah, and he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. Oh a swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Getting late in the day here, and as this has been a now long batting. one, we check out Short our line stop. score to this point. Oh, the scoreboard up. operator is going to slap well dead. tonight because, as you can see, he's been a pretty busy man through the first seven and change. <laughs> Trying to pick things up where we left off. Alfonso Velasquez has gone deep twice in the game, making him two for four. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now batting. Boy, that Third would look baseman. like a cinch extra Joseph. base hit off the bat. But Dingy. a terrific diving catch in left center field. Into the box, Joseph Cheney. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Now batting, the second baseman, Corbin Joseph. Stepping in, Corbin Joseph. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Prior to the at bat, a check on first. Runners back.
First pitch on its way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning. Then you give up that two-out base hit. Now you have the middle part of the order coming up, and this is where you have to really refocus on that mound, stay out of a potential big inning. Looked like a breaking ball that time, but it never came back down. If you're in the box right now, you got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. The 1-1. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center, as this is now a five-run cushion. home runs. D. Rodan, when's the last time you saw a power performance like this from two competing teams? And I can only speak from my own past You're experiences. When the flags are blowing yeah, out, you want as many no at as you can, and that's exactly nice, uh, what's happening. This ball's jumping at it. You know, D. Rowe, this is always a nightmare for a pitcher. Not only is this a good hitting ballpark, but the wind blows out on top of it. This is the last place you want to be a pitcher at. Dalton Kaiser enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. The first baseman, number nine, Stepping Howard. in now, Howard Farrell. Hit softly down the line at first. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. Ninth inning coming up. The Rockhounds are out in front, 14 to 9. In now, Todd Smart. He'll try Leading and off. lead things off here the in inning baseman. number nine. Todd Here Smart. comes the first pitch. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a high pop-up. Cheney is calling for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batter, the designated hitter. A reminder not Howard. to touch that remote actor we're Manning. through, which you'll see full highlights of the ball game this afternoon exclusively right here on the show. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Howard Manning. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1-0. One, oh. one out, nobody on. One and one to count. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. The right fielder, number 34, Omar Barroa. At the plate, Omar Barroa. He's one for four for the game. The last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. No balls and a strike to count. Fastball nope. just misses. That's ball one. Heading out towards shallow right. Ferreira has it in his sights. He's got it, and there are two down now.
the batter, the third baseman, Alexi Cabral. Standing in, Alexi Cabral. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Bouncer to the left side. On to first, and that's your ball game. Wow. A nine-out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. 14 to 9 is the final score here. Midland put up a 15 run attack on the scoreboard today. Daniel Gossett is credited with the win. Gary Samuel struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. And so today's game comes to a game. victory for the Midland Rockhounds. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. And as we conclude this four game series against the visiting Amarillo Sod Poodles, it has come to a two, two win split series with the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Tomorrow, we begin our first game of our four game set with the visiting Arkansas Travelers. Taking them on for a four game series. Saturday, the Rock Hounds are out of town as they take a 705 first pitch with the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Wednesday, April 10th, the Rockhounds will play the Arkansas Travelers in a four game set. <clears throat> Sunday, April 14th, the Rockhounds are back home they take on the visiting Tulsa Drillers for a four game set. Thursday, April 18th, the Rockhounds will take on the visiting Northwest Arkansas Naturals. And most likely on Monday, April 22nd, the Rockhounds will host a four game series at Tulsa and a four game set with the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and on Tuesday April 30th Rockhounds will come back home as they take on a four game series with the visiting Corpus Christi Hooks and a four game set with the visiting Frisco Rough Riders. Well, anyway, before we go on Rockhounds baseball, well, you know the schedule to Tuesday, May 7th. Well, anyway, we will be right back here on Rockhounds baseball the voice of West Texas, and most likely we go to our commercial break. <clears throat> You're listening to Rock Hounds Baseball, the voice of West Texas. We now take you back to the ballpark for this afternoon's highlights, runs, hits, and errors. In the end, the Rock Hounds take a victory against the Amarillo Sod Puddles as Amarillo and Midland split series a four game set. Well, as we get ready to sign off of today's ball game, 
we are going to go ahead and go over Ron Tips and Errors. First for the victorious Medlin Rockhounds, 14 runs, 19 hits, and no errors. For Amarillo, 9 runs on the 15 hits and 1 error. <clears throat> Win for the Medlin Rockhounds go to Daniel Gossett. Loss goes to Gary Samuel. Save goes to Rockhounds Oliver Wallace. Well, this is just about do it for Rockhounds baseball this afternoon. Gotta say, it was a fun four-game series. We take on the Amarillo Sod Poodles again on Saturday, April 6th. At 7.05. Well, anyway, for all of us here at Rockhounds Baseball, final from Midland, 14 to 9 and 1 and all for Midland. Good game. And gotta say, a win is a win. But boys, celebrate this win because this one was the first one in April. Well, anyway, got to say, this has been Rockhounds Baseball, the boys of West Texas. We now take you back to your regularly scheduled programming with two full hours cooking with Irma. <laughs>